Hello everyone. Namaste and welcome back. Here in Hyderabad the weather has shifted from hot and humid to wet and windy. It's been raining from two days continuously and it's too cold and very lazy like weather here and so kids were craving for something warm and spicy. I plan to prepare the favorite pasta. I recently stumbled upon this Desano durum wheat penne pasta. Desano pastelicious pasta is crafted from the finest durum wheat semolina which takes only 12 minutes to prepare. Not only is this a good source of protein but is also trans fat free and is ideal for a healthy snack or salad option. And today I am going to make this pasta in my new kitchen cookware collection of enameled cast iron saucepan with lid. It is from the brand Agaro and I fell in love with it the minute I saw it. Its elegant look and sleek design makes it aesthetically so beautiful. You all know how much I love to decorate my kitchen and how much I love to keep it aesthetically pleasing and this product checks all the boxes of a kitchenware. I wanted a proper enamel coated cast iron cookware from a very long time but as the price of these type of cookware is very high I was dicey but Agaro came up with this amazing line of kitchen products which are not only eco friendly and durable but also go very easy on our pockets Now come on let's prepare delicious pasta in this new cookware along with Desano penne pasta The Sano Pastelicious Pasta has many varieties of pasta like spaghetti, fusilli, elbow pasta, macaroni and many more in its range but my kids love penne pasta and so I chose this. As this pasta is made of durum wheat semolina I am not adding any drop of oil while boiling this which otherwise I used to to make sure that they don't stick to each other but this omits the oiling step completely I added a little bit of water in a microwaveable bowl along with some salt and I will be microwaving this for 10 minutes at high temperature. In the meanwhile, I am preparing the required ingredients for the pasta. Usually adding loads of vegetables to this dish makes it taste amazing but today I am going to make a sauce with the veggies that my kids usually don't prefer eating. I am making white sauce pasta and for the white sauce I am going to use cauliflower, cashews and some garlic cloves. Here first I am soaking the cauliflower in hot water with some salt to remove all the bugs if any. I'm closing the lid of this and keeping it aside for few minutes so that all the impurities from the cauliflower come out. And in the meanwhile, I'm washing the new cookware. All you need to follow while washing an enamel cast iron cookware is to make sure that you're using a soft sponge like thing to scrub it. Do not use steel scrubbers on it or it will affect the enamel coating of the cookware. So here I'm just hand washing it as it's only the first time I'm washing it. You can use any type of dishwasher liquid, but I would suggest not to use any harsh chemicals on it. So here I'm adding a little bit of milk along with some cashews and the soaked cauliflower florets. I'm covering the lid and allowing it to simmer for few minutes until the boil a boil comes in the milk. As the saucepan is made from cast iron material with enamel coated surface, it enables fast heating and even distribution because of which the cooking becomes quick. See, my cauliflower florets are completely cooked from all sides within no time. 
The rigid long handle helps in picking up the saucepan easily and also because of the enamel coating the heat doesn't pass to the handle. Here I am grinding everything into a smooth paste. As it is hot I am using my hand blender here but if you are using a normal mixer then wait until this mixture is completely cooled down. Now I'm placing back this smooth paste onto the stove and allowing it to simmer for few minutes before I add my pasta. Here in the meanwhile the pasta is also ready. As it is made of semolina it is not sticking to each other and I haven't added any drop of oil here. The mixture has come to a boil and now I'm adding the pasta to it. Adding some seasonings like pasta seasoning, oregano or mixed herbs along with chili flakes adds immense taste to this pasta. And trust me, you will not know the taste of cauliflower in this. My kids thoroughly enjoyed it and I too loved it to the core. And I am going to make this again and again. So here I added some pasta seasoning, mixed herbs and chili flakes and I am mixing everything well. There is no need to add cheese. If you want you can add but actually the purpose of the cheese is solved with cashews. This is done. I am switching off the flame and covering it with the lid. With a low glycine index, low cholesterol and high levels of fiber from this pasta along with the added nutrition from the vegetable sauce that I made, a perfect and yet healthy, yumelicious, oh sorry, pastelicious dish is ready in no time and with the even cooking of my agaro saucepan, the dish has become all the more flavorful. This saucepan is 19 cm wide with 1.9 liters capacity which is ideal for boiling milk or making tea or soups or of course pasta. The additional features of it being compatible with gas, oven and induction is a cherry on the cake. This saucepan looks so stylish that I don't mind using it as a serveware as well. As I mentioned before too, as it's pocket friendly and yet serves all the purpose of a cast iron cookware, I am going to purchase some more from this range for sure and I would recommend it to anyone who is in a thought to purchase a new cookware. Go grab this before it goes out of stock which I am sure is going to be soon as they are disappearing like hotcakes. Links of both the Sano Pasta and Agaro Sauce Pan is given in the description box. Do check. My kids loved the pasta and it turned out to be just delicious. Try this recipe and let me know how you liked it. I will be waiting. Hope you all like this video. I will be soon coming with a new video. Until then, take care, keep smiling, bye bye and don't forget to give me loads of love.